hey, you're going to show you from the Bible that these Roman Catholic idols, these graven images, are man-made. They're not biblical, and they're not of God. They're man-made. The Catholics are. Roman Catholicism is a pagan perversion of the Christian faith. So, let's get right into it. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 19 to 20. The workman melteth the graven image, and the goldsmith spread it over, spreadeth it over with gold, and casteth silver chains. He that is also impoverished, that he hath no obligation, choseth the tree, that he will it rot, and seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image, that it shall not be moved. Isaiah chapter 46, verses 5 to 6. To whom will you liken me? And make me equal, and compare me, that ye, that we may be like. The lavish gold out of the bag, the weigh silver in the balance, and hire a goldsmith, and he maketh it a god. They fall down, yea, they worship. So they're making their own god. Exactly what the Catholics do. They make their own god. They make a graven image, they'll build a Mary statue, they make this fake picture of Jesus, and they'll make it into a god. And they're basically making their own god. Or should I say gods, you know, plural, because Roman Catholics have multiple gods. They have their saints, and they have the pagan three-god trinity, too. The trinity is not the biblical godhead. The biblical godhead is Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Body, Soul, Spirit, not three persons that all have the title of God, not scriptural at all. The godhead, the fullness of the godhead dwells in Jesus Christ. So you have body, soul, spirit. That simple. And there is separation in the godhead, too. I'm not going to get into that, but continuing. Psalms chapter, sorry, not chapter, Psalms 115, 4 to 8. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hand. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither spake they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusteth in them. These Roman Catholic idols, they can't talk, they can't walk, they're fake. And you're trusting in them to get to heaven. You're praying to these idols to get to heaven. And they'll say, well, we don't, we don't uh, worship them, we venerate them. When you're bowing down to them and burning incense to them, that's worship. By biblical standards. Maybe not by, by, by pagan Catholic standards, but by biblical standards. They are idolaters, Roman Catholics. Psalms 135, 15 to 18. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. Uh, they that make them are like unto them, so is everyone that trusteth in them. So repeating what Psalms 115 said. So these Roman Catholic idols, they're man-made. They're false gods, and they're just, it's stupid, too, making an idol and thinking you pray to it. And, they, and they'll, they'll vehemently deny it. They'll say, well, we don't, we, don't, we don't worship them. We're not idolaters. When you burn incense to them, when you bow down to them, when you pray before them, that is worship by scriptural standards, which is condemned. The way they treat those, I, those icons is idolatry. Last point in my notes, making images of the Godhead is a sin. Acts chapter 17, verse 29. For as much then as we are the offering of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. These Roman Catholic images of Jesus Christ are not scriptural. They're a violation of scripture. They're sinful. They're, they're making the Godhead like unto gold or silver. You can't make the Godhead. You cannot make an image of God. But the Roman Catholics do. They're pagan idolaters. That simple. Roman Catholicism is pagan idolatry. It is blasphemy because it, they take titles for God, you know, like Father, Holy Father, which... Read John 17, John chapter 17, verse 1, 2. Holy Father is a title for God, not some guy in Rome with a dress on called the Pope. Roman Catholicism is blasphemy, it is paganism, and they worship false gods. And I say gods plural because they have multiple gods. They have Mary, they have the saints, and they have their three god trinity. So don't be deceived by pagan cults like Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.